My name is Pune. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I'm an Iranian Canadian artist um, based in Toronto, Ontario. And I just have this passion for art, so I thought maybe I should share it with the world. So here I am making my very first video. So please be patient with me. I might, you know, <laughs> make a mistake here and there. I don't even know what I'm doing, but. Um, I thought I have to give it a go. Um, so I am going to paint a piece. Um, my passion is Dutch pour, and I am going to explain as much as possible, uh, break it down to steps. Uh, but please feel free to make comments, ask questions if you want to know how I mix my paints or um, whatever question you have, feel free to ask me. And uh, if you are interested in any piece, email me at punekb at gmail.com. All these information would be in the description box below. Um, so if you click on the title, the, uh, you can see the description box. And then I would write down all the information, all the colors, whatever information that you uh, might need. Uh, so let's get to it. So first of all, I usually what I do is I prepare my canvas by mm, taping the back of it because I want the back of it to be as clean as possible. Usually it doesn't happen, but that's my end goal. So mm, that's what we are trying to do here, preparing the canvas. Uh, this canvas, the size of it is 12 inch um, by 24. Um, I am in the mood of some pinks and some purples today. So that's what my color combination is going to be. I'll show you the colors in a minute. So today it's pretty warm here. Fall is around the corner. It's like it's hot and cold. I love the fall. Yeah. So that should be it. And then what I do, I put push pins in the back because you don't want your canvas to be drowning in the paint underneath, right? All right, cool. Let me hammer. That was my laptop making a noise. <laughs> You do you want to make sure that your canvas is level it's super important I'm telling you if it's not level after you finish painting the paint is gonna slide off so yep I'm talking out of experience not fun so my canvas is level so one of the very important things that you need is this level um, leveling device, whatever it's called. <laughs> um, I bought it uh, from Amazon. It's not that expensive. It's like 10 bucks or so. Uh, another thing that you, you need is um, um, uh, like a kitchen um, scale. I mean, a cleaner one. <laughs> this one, of course, has paint all over it. Um, because it's very important to measure your paint to get a um, certain consistency so if you really if you're interested to see how I mix my paint please uh, let me know I'll show you how I'll make a video how and what I do is two part flow troll one part paint and depending on how thick the paint is if it's tube paint or is it, if it's craft paint I add a little bit of water to um, thin it down 
to a certain consistency. We don't want the um, paint to be very thick. Uh, it has to be creamy, watery, not watery, kind of creamy texture for it to flow very nicely on the canvas. Okay, so I usually uh, pre-mix my white um, because I need to flood my canvas with white. And um, yeah, so I want to mix my paints and then come back and show you the paint. Yeah, so I don't know, for some reason, just the video got cut off. Uh, all right, so I am going to flood my canvas. So I'm already pre-mixed my white. I used the uh, Flow Acrylic White by Artist Loft. This is what I use. So again, two part flow troll, one part paint, and then thin it down with some water, depending on the thickness of your paint. So what you do is you flood your canvas. This is how I do it. Everyone does it differently. So you can um, watch other videos to see how people do it. And again, like for mixing your paint, there are tons of recipes out there. And for different eclair pouring, there are different recipes. This is what has been working for me. I've tried so many recipes, man, like, oh but at the end this one was the one that i i'm like yay it's working all right so hopefully this is enough paint i um so what i what you need is a blow dryer not a very particular blow dryer what is really important is just this uh head to concentrate the air uh, so I usually put it on low. Just spread it evenly. Be aware of any blobs because sometimes blow trough has some tissues in it. Some people, um, they use um, uh, um, like American blow trough or Australian blow trough and they are all different. What I use is the flow troll that I buy out of Amazon. All right, so I need to see, I can see a blob here. I just use um, my little tweezer here and then pick it up okay because if you don't pick it up then when your paint dries that blob is gonna be really ugly in your painting and you have you can do nothing about it <laughs> once it dries so you need to cover your sides sides are important to me so, yeah, I meant this um, pig, um, color art is so pigmented, even a little speck of it, if it's on your paint, it will show. This is my very first video, guys, it's so weird that I'm talking to myself. So you don't want any canvas to show. Okay. I 
again, I see a little hair. I have to pick it up. I need my paper towel. A little speck here. Pick it up. Yeah, just make sure that it's clean. And I am going to do the sides. Make sure that they are um, covered. I usually listen to music when I'm painting. Um, usually get my inspiration from music. But this time around, I was just in the mood of some purples and pinks and blues. And I'm like, why not do it on the camera? Yeah. So you want to cover it properly so no canvas is showing. Alright? Well, some people wear gloves. I don't really mind my fingers to be covered in paint. It's cool. <laughs> I'm hoping the other side is pretty good. All right, cool. So the canvas is covered and I am going to lay the paints, the order that I put it here. The order really doesn't matter. I mean, the last, um, um, the very first one that you put usually shows last. The very last one would be the color that you wanted to um, show the most. So what I'm going to do for this piece, I'm just going to do a straight line. I'm going to, I'm, I actually just added this uh, iridescent blue green because I am in love with this paint. I'm trying to put it in every single piece that I have. So I'm going to do a squiggly line. And then I'm going to do my sapphire and ice. I usually use these paper cups because it's easier for you to bend it like this. So you can control how much comes out of the cup. So this one is boysenberry. Such beautiful color. Squiggly line. And then my wine and roses. Okay. Then my purple flash. All right, mess that up. Well, at the end of the day, it wouldn't matter because you're gonna blow it, but. Purple flash is pretty cool too. When it dries, it has this nice shine. And passion. I wonder if I should add neon pink on top. What do you think? Should I? Hmm. Dilemma, dilemma. All right, maybe a little bit of a neon pink on top. <laughs> this neon pink is by Artist Loft. Just a little drizzle. Okay, should I add any um, metallics to it? Maybe a little silver. Let's see how it turns out. This silver is Sterling Silver by Decart. Okay, we have a lot of paint on the gamut. I hope it turns out. Okay, alrighty. 
So the next step is to pop the bu bubbles because when you mix the paint, there would be air bubbles. So you need a little torch to pop the bubbles because otherwise they're gonna show after you blow the paint. Not too much though because you're gonna burn your paint. All right, it's, it's cool already, no? <laughs> I like it. All right, uh oh, the tricky part starts. So I am going to blow it. So you manipulate your paint by your blow dryer. So it's you who decide how to blow it. So what do you think? How are we doing it? I'm going to blow this way, that way, and then this way, that way. All right? Okay, let's see what we can come up with. Wish me luck. Cross fingers. then it's um, you uh, don't blow twice on top of like when you blow it once don't blow it on top of it because then it's gonna create a muddy mess so what I usually do then wherever I, I need to blow more because now it's in your hand to play with it um, I use my straw or you can just blow it by your mouth so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna blow some So the video got cut off, rookie mistakes. Um, I blow, blew it and made um, whatever it is that I sort of feel confident that I like it. I'm going to show you a close up and we'll go from there. Yes, exactly. Once I figured out how to turn the camera. So this is our end result. It's going to be really sparkly. I usually name my pieces. This one, I like to call it the purple marble. Yeah, how do you like it? It doesn't have as many cells as a regular uh, paint would have because of the um, color art pigments, but it still looks pretty cool. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right, everyone. That was my very first video. So um, please let me know how you like it. Like, subscribe make comments i would love to hear from you um see you next time